uh, Kenya and that's uh, uh, none other than maybe Turkid Master, mm -hmm. but they know me as Jafet Yahuma Adongo, yes. aka Turkid Master. That's mm -hmm. what most people know. Yeah. So <laughs> what I know is that I would like to see uh, WKF getting it uh, higher in this level of uh, combat sports. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I forgot to say, we had a tournament that was to be held in uh, April. Mm -hmm. That was 8th. It was uh, an international tournament that you were to be represented by uh rocky here uh iron leg there and uh um, mesha was also moses or let me say julius was also to represent as billy blanks yeah. but now we didn't get sponsors because it was uh, worth 4m uh -huh. to yes. be held yeah. so we had to look for good uh, hotels a nice venue secure places because we even the world president who is mr robert uh Will Smith was also to come and we had different countries. We had uh, the US, we had Australia, we had uh, Morocco, we had Ghana, different kinds of uh, countries were to come to Kenya. But now I'm hoping that uh, maybe between October to towards December we'll uh, get sponsors and uh, it will be hosted in this country. That will be the first combat sports tournament, MMA Muay Thai kickboxing tournament that will be held here in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. So it will be a big thing for World Kickboxing Federation Kenya uh, uh, body here. Well, it's a big one there that will be coming to us. Julius Ban, where my dolly is up and going to ban. Book a move to pick your story, kid dog. Yes. Ah, he. Kuli kwa na organization ina jita telefoni. So apa? Ah. Kulikuwa, kulikuwa hii nilianda kudefend pale Meru, nilikuwa nimeenda kufight pale Meru, nilikuwa na opponent, nilikuwa na ito The Oof, mm -hmm. Amokoth. Uh, Tuka meet pale Meru na nilikuwa shua, naenda kubeba <laughs> title. Sisi atunanga, no yeah. doubt. Yes. Yeah, but uh, venye kocha mesema, mm. kuna tumekuwa na changamoto sana kama mafighters. Mm. Uh, kwa hizo federation, because... Uh, wana organize fight, munaenda muna fight, na hakuna kitu unapewa. Mm -hmm. Na watu kama sisi, tukona familia, wanataka kukula. So tulifraia sana venya alikutana, alikuja na mazo kama hiyo. Mm -hmm. Juhu tulijua, watu kama sisi tatusaidia sana mm -hmm. kama mafighters, mm -hmm. na tutanufaika uh, tutanu, uh, tutanu sana yeah. kutokana na hii federation. Mm -hmm. uh, mimi, uh, upande wangu neza fight muaithae, Neza fight kickboxing, neza fight MMA kama ushai yochi UFC, yes. watu kama mm. kina Israel, mm. Adesanya, yes. mm -hmm. ni watu wanatoka hapa Afrika. Mm. Na wame, wame make very big history pale nje. Mm. So, sisi pia tunaweza fika pale, but tumekosa hizo opportunity. Tumekosa mm. wale sponsors ambao wanaweza kutusaidia tufikie pale. Sisi mm. ni mafighters wazuri sana, tukitoka huko nje. Yeah. So, Ile kitu ambayo tungeomba, mm -hmm. uh, serikali ingeangalia sana, hata hizi sports za arts za fighting, yeah. um, serikali na fight uangalie kabisa. Mm -hmm. Na pia uh, sponsors pia wakuje wakamin, mm -hmm. waweze kutusupport kama mafighters. Yeah. Ju, uh, training, venye mwenzangu wa mesema, you train hard, you fight easy. We train hard every day. But remember also we have the family, uh, we have kids, they have yeah. to go to school, mm -hmm. they have to eat. So, sazingina uh, unaenda uh, fight, kama wakati, kuna wakati nilienda fight, by then nika promise wife, ah, nikirudi niki fight, uh, ntakubaiya nguo, yeah. usikuwe na wasiwasi. Yeah. But wakati nilimaliza fight, yeah. nilikuwa disappointed. Yeah. Siku pata kitu. Yeah. So, hizo ni vitu ambazo zina zina tukufisha moyo sana kwa yeah. wa sport but yeah. tumefurahia sana venye kocha amekuja na wazo mzuri sana ambaye yeah. inaweza kusaidia ma fighters yeah yeah na mrembo <coughs> wewe hapo uko na medal man kama zote ni zangu yeah. na sijakuja yeah. na zote uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> saa ile kitu yenye iko uh. grau tuko ma uh. fighter wazuri sana tena the best mm. mishipika yote hata nyingine hatujakuja nayo Iko, iko, iko uko nini, iko uko kayole. Tuko yeah. wengi sana. Mm -hmm. So, ile kitu yenye iko, tuko na passion sawa, tuko yes. Tuko na ile spirit ya vita. Mtu kama mimi ni mtu amesomea mambo ya beauty salon. Mm -hmm. Lakini mimi siyezi enda kusimama kwa vicho za wala. Tumina sikia tu ningie kwa ringi ni chape watu vicho. Mm 
Yes. Unaelewa. Uh -huh. So unapata competition tu imeenda mtu kama mimi ameenda ame mpaka South Africa uh -huh. lakini kuna kitu moja ni Dilan. Ile shide, sa unapata, wakati nilienda pale nikapata, venye tunatritiwa ni tofauti sana. Enye ukika hapa mtu kama mimi lazima uhasul venye utalipakeja, nona, wengi tukona familia, watoto watakula aje, nona. So most of the time tunafakua, tukua gym, tunatrain, tukirudikua hao, tunafanya nini, tunalala, at least body inafanya nini. Lakini sasa unapata, wale maoponentu yetu wametritiwa hivo, ni ku, kazi yao ni ku pigana kulala kutrain hiyo ndio hiyo ndio kitu inawalipa yes. sawa wakati nifika kule yenyewe nikapata hadi nikauliza nika god yani huku watu wanaishi hivi na venye kwetu tuna struggle but i thank god mm. kwa hii kitu yenye imekuja world kickboxing federation yes. hii ni kitu at least tunaona tukuna kuna future mm. you once hii game yenye tulikuwa tumewekewa tume, tume at least tukipigana game moja ama mbili mm. tuna fighting tu na kazi zetu zinaendelea Yeah. Tuna ajili watu na saa unaona at least tutakuwa na ile ngu, tutakuwa na ile guvu. Yeah. Mtu kama mini mtu wame fight taekwondo. Yeah. But sasa taekwondo nikafika mali nikaona hapa na hii kitu inisaidi. Mm -hmm. Tumeingia kwa kickboxing. Enyo venye kocha mesema ndio tukona ile spirit lakini atupati, atupati ma sponsor. Mm -hmm. Watu wenye watakuambia kaa chini, yeah. tufanya nini, we, we train, nita, nita kusimamia kila kitu. Yeah. Ukipata, tukipata watu kama hawa kijitokeza tutakuwa mafaita wengine wazuri. Jua hata wenye wako UFC au mafaita sakina au adasanya, mafaita wengine. Watu wametoka tu East Africa. Mm. Ama tuseme Afrika. Mm. Lakini wamefika pale kwa nini kwa kupata ile support. So ada WKF tunajua tutaenda mbali. Yeah. Hey. Okuko. Unaona future iko mzuri? Ah, future iko poa kwangu venye naona. Uh -huh. And uh, Mr. President Jeff Takid tunasonga mbele vizuri. Yeah. Yeah, mimi nilikuwa anacheza amecha mm -hmm. kwa inaitwa wako. Yes, wako. Kwa wako, anda yeah. wako. Sasa yeah. nimetan. Mhm. Mm Ndio na naanza kucheza pro anda WKF Federation. Mm -hmm. Hoping nitasonga mahali. Yeah. Your federation Master Takid amekuja na wazo mzuri. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. So, Takid the, the question will be again, the future sasa inakaje? Juu sasa, you are in office, so this is a responsibility. Sasa siyo iti ni leisure anymore. Eh? As a president, now, this is a responsibility. Now you have people behind you who depend on you. What, what does the future look like for World Kickboxing Federation? The future is bright, Bara. Yeah. Uh, the future is bright, mm -hmm. even brighter, let me say. Yeah. Uh, and it's not easy mm -hmm. to be a president of anything, for sure. Yes. I can realize that and mm -hmm. I can attest to that. Yeah. Can you imagine just the two months that I've been in office yeah. and I haven't even uh, started working officially? Mm -hmm. I'm telling this is my first uh, official uh, work today. Yes. As uh, being here, and in fact, you are the first person to host me. Yeah, since I was elected in this office. Yeah. And uh, if you can look at me, I've even lost some weight. The reason is that I'm just thinking on how I can help these guys. I'm just thinking on how Kenya can transform this thing of uh, combat sports for sure to be in a different level. So what I can say, the future is bright. And I've told you that we are under a president who is not even corrupt, uh, who is the world president, that is the CEO and director, uh, Mr. Robert. Will Smith, and uh, is also against any kind of corruption, yeah. and that's what I've been fighting for. To me, I always say it's better I don't get anything, but I, I should see these fighters getting something through their talent. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I can say is that uh, our future there is bright, yeah. and we're gonna make it. And uh, watch my words and the steps now from today onwards. Yes. You remember, there's no one now ahead. It's only me now. Yes. And uh, whoever will be in uh, mm -hmm. my office, let me say, yeah. will follow the rules for sure. Mm -hmm. If you are corrupt, you'll be out. Yeah. And uh, it will be a youthful office. Mm -hmm. I'll be having all these guys in my office also as officials. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have any tournament internationally, and there's something that I have to talk about also, mm -hmm. that has been happening in every federation, every sporting federation in this country. We've been corrupt a lot. Mm -hmm. You get a chance to take like 10 fighters or 10 footballers or ten, any kind of sports and then you go do human trafficking by taking two guys who are fighters who are going to represent the country and taking other guys just for your own purposes your own benefits to gain money 
you see, yes. who are eight, then you come back, tell us that Kenya hasn't performed because of this and this. And yet you took two fighters mm -hmm. and eight what? Yeah, G riders. Was that for sure? And this is something that I'm gonna fight for. And I always tell people, there's something that is coming up. We won't be going on the streets just to talk about it. We'll form something with all sporting uh, activities. Yes. Uh, let me say federations and different players mm -hmm. who will be in, whether footballer, volleyballers, taekwondoists, kickboxers, mm -hmm. athletes, so that we can have one voice to talk to uh, the ministry. Yes. Let me say the government in short, mm -hmm. about federations that have been uh, wasting time mm -hmm. for all these good sportsmen in this country. And yes. that would be something like sports activism. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's a big one here. Big congratulations and thank you to Takid Master who has brought us members of the World Kickboxing Federation here in studio with us. Julius, <laughs> Okuku, Milson, Paris. Paris, and uh, Rocky. Bill Rocky. Rocky. Uh, Sante Sana for coming mm -hmm. here in studio with us. Hope we'll be doing this many more times. It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. Erika Ganya is here in studio with us and we'll be coming back with the fan zone. But before that, we'll be talking about uh, the youth and their involvement in sports and how they are using sports to change the world. It will be a segment. We'll be talking about uh, sports for greener and what they are doing when they are coming to plant trees and also using sports to engage the community. Can the community reciprocate that? We'll be talking that much more in the fan zone. <laughs>